Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the rear bearing support shaft on your driver. The reason why you might have to do this is because it's squeaking or squealing when running, or because it's worn out. For this repair, you'll need a putty knife, a 5 16 nut driver, and a screwdriver with a number 2 square bit. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is our dryer. It's a GE, and this is what we're going to be using for this repair. Keep in mind, ours might be a little bit different than yours, but the same technique should still apply. So after we've disconnected everything, now we're going to take a putty knife. There are a couple of tabs in here, and using the putty knife, we're going to push in, which will release the tab, just like so. And we can pull the lid up and just set it against the wall like so. So there are two screws holding on the front bulkhead of the dryer. I'm going to use my 5 16 inch nut driver to remove those screws now. And now that I've got those screws off, I'm going to disconnect these cables here. And now I can remove this front bulkhead by just pulling it back. And after I pull it back and it's free, I'm going to lift up to get it off those bottom tabs and set it off to the side. And in order to get the belt off, we're going to have to push up on the lever to release the tension and reach in with our other hand. And now we can just take that right off. Now you can see here, there's no tension on this belt. So the next thing I want to do is I want to pull this up just a little bit just to get this off of this uh, tab right here. And I'm going to have to remove this screw. And to remove this screw, I'm going to be using a uh, CRV number two square bit. There we go. So now to get the drum out, we're going to lift it up a little bit. And now we can remove the drum. So here's our bearing right here. So to get that off, we're going to have to go inside of the tub and unscrew the three screws that are holding it in. And these three screws are also our uh, number two square bit. All right, so now as we're unscrewing the last screw, just want to hold the plate in place just to make sure that as you take it off, it doesn't fall to the ground. And there we go. Now, grab your new OEM replacement rear bearing support shaft. If you don't have one already, you can find one on our online store. Now, I want to pop a couple screws through there. That way, I can set the bearing right on here, and then I can screw it on. And there we go. And now we can put our drum back in. And when you put it in, you angle it a little bit as you put the ball bearing into its spot. And now it's resting in the drum bearing support. Now to put the drum back on, we're going to take the belt. We're going to go on the other side of the wheel here, just like this. And we're going to lift it up, keeping this all together. Oops. And then loop the belt around the shaft here. Make sure everything's on straight. There we go. And then everything should be able to spin freely now. Just like that. Now that the drum's back on, you can rotate it a couple times if you want to. And that'll get the drum belt in place where it should go. We've got a little bit of dust there. But 
it's rotating pretty well. I don't want to rotate it too much because it's uh, a little bit loose on there without being put together all the way. So I want to put the spacer back in here next. So I'm going to just slide this in, line up the holes, and I'm going to screw this back in. And now I'm going to grab our front bulkhead and we're going to line up those two tabs on the bottom and let the bulkhead just slide onto those tabs. Make sure everything lines up. If you have to, move the drum a little bit, pull up, but everything should slide back into place. Creates that nice seal with the drum. And now we can screw it all back together. Okay. And now I want to plug these wires back together. Hang them right on the side here. Now I want to spin the drum a little bit more, just one more time, and make sure the belt is lined up where it should be. And there we go. The belt is nice and tight on there, going on that line that was originally there. So now we can close up the lid. and your repair is complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, pcapplianceRepair.com. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.